Hi everyone, it's Randy with Detail Authority here in Fairfax, Virginia. So today we're gonna to go over some of the benefits and how to use Optimum No Rinse. If you live maybe in a condo and don't have the ability to wash your car outdoors with a hose, everything else, uh, the Optimum uh, No Rinse, or also called ONR, would be a great solution for you. The Optimum No Rinse does not require you to rinse the car down under normal circumstances. However, if your car is extremely dirty, uh, during the winter time, you get all the salt, sand, stuff like that sprayed on the car. You might want to rinse it down prior to that. But otherwise, there's no real reason to go ahead and rinse the car down otherwise. Uh, two gallons of water, a little bit of the Optimum No Rinse, and you're, you're good to go to go ahead and rinse the vehicle. The Optimum No Rinse is a polymer. It's not a car wash soap. So it's not going to suds up like your traditional car wash soap. Being the fact it's a polymer, it has other additives in there which will help soften the water and will help keep the lubricity on the paint. Typically when you're washing your car with regular car wash soap, you have lubricity on the paint while you're washing the vehicle. As you move that dirt around, it doesn't scratch the vehicle, it kind of lifts it up and makes it flow off the vehicle. Once you rinse the soap off of the vehicle and you go to dry the vehicle, that's typically how you are damaging your vehicle. Uh, with the Optimum No Rinse, that lubricity stays on the paint and drying the vehicle is much safer, less likely to put those micro scratches in the vehicle. To O&R or no rinse your vehicle, uh, you're going to need a couple of things. First off, you're going to need the Optimum no rinse. Uh, you also need a bucket. Um, and that's all you really need other than just uh, some sort of washing material, whether it be a sponge, whether it be a nice soft wash mitt. If you are using a sponge, make sure it is a car washing sponge, not something you pull out of the kitchen. These are extremely soft and they're not going to scratch your paint. The other options that you might want to consider would be a lid. Uh, this is called a gamma top, so it unscrews and will allow you to seal all your stuff up in between washes, carry it around, keep it covered to keep dirt and other debris from getting in the, uh, the bucket while you're not using it. Uh, another thing you might want to consider is a grit guard. So what this does, it sits in the bottom of the bucket here and as the dirt falls down the, uh, the bucket, it goes to the bottom. That way you're not reintroducing this dirt and debris back on the paint causing scratches. So this just simply goes in the bottom of your bucket, comes in, I mean it goes uh, in easily and comes out easily if you do need to clean it. Another thing you might want to consider is a spray bottle. A spray bottle filled with the Optimum No Rinse is a great way to pre-treat or pre-soak your vehicle if you have a little bit, a bit more dirt on your vehicle. As you can see, this vehicle here is extremely dirty. Uh, the wheels would su are something that I probably would go ahead and pre-soak while I work around the rest of the vehicle and let the Optimum start doing its thing. From there, you're going to need a good drying towel. There's several different kinds of drying towels that you can have. This is a just a uh, it's called a, a China drying towel. It's specifically designed and engineered to absorb water. It's a great towel. It's extremely soft. It's pretty thick um, and that's the uh, what you really want with any kind of drying towel. You don't want a cheap microfiber towel where when you push through it your fingers are going to create hot spots creating more damage. You want something that's thick and has lots of pile. A towel that we use quite a bit is a waffle weave towel and this is about the size that you really would want. This is about a, uh, a 30 to 32 inch by about 18 inch towel and this one I can probably get through the entire vehicle um, comfortably. I typically use two vehicle two towels to get through a vehicle when I'm drying them off just to make sure that I'm have a relatively clean towel, not introducing too much dirt back into the car. Uh, another towel here is uh, one that comes from Optimum. This is a great towel, absorbs lots and lots of water. Uh, it's extremely thick. It's probably three quarters of an inch thick here, and it does do a, a very good job of drying out the vehicle as well as absorbing lots of water. Uh, so as you can see, this vehicle is fairly dirty, um, and I am perfectly okay to go ahead and wash this vehicle without rinsing off prior to using the Optimum No Rinse. When you pre-spray it, it's going to kind of break down the dirt, the grease, the grime, stuff like that, encapsulates the dirt and raises above the surface area to help prevent it from scratching the surface area um, while you're washing the vehicle. Um, and then when you take that wash uh, mitt or a sponge and put it back into the bucket and you rinse it out, all that dirt being encapsulated now now weighs a lot more so it's going to drag it down to the bottom of the bucket. The Optimum No Rinse is perfectly safe to use on any kind of glass, paint, paint protection film, wheels, tires, plastic. You can use, even use it on the interior. If you dilute it at the proper ratio, which is 256 to 1, a half ounce per gallon, then you can use it on the interior dash door panels. You can use it on the windows. It's a great product to use 
pretty much anywhere in your vehicle. It's not a harsh degreaser, so it's not going to stain, bleach, or damage anything, but it will take out light uh, you know, fingerprint marks, a little bit of uh, you know, light, light oils and, and things of that nature. It's great for collecting dust off your dash, giving it a nice wipe down, and just a general all-purpose cleaner for the in inside as well as the exterior vehicle. Uh, the wheel is a little dirty as I mentioned a moment ago, so I'm going to go ahead and take my spray bottle that I've already dunked inside of the uh, pre-mixed solution here and just spray this down and let it dwell and, and start breaking down some of the grease and grime and then I'm going to go back and work on the rest of the vehicle. So I want to spray it down to the point where it's nice and saturated. Um, you know, if it's running, I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. If it's running off the wheel, but I just want to make sure it's, it's good and wet. Um, if, if I choose to go ahead and pre-spray the entire vehicle, I can go ahead and pre-spray it, that's fine. Um, I really don't need to do that because uh, the vehicle is not that dirty where it's going to be a problem. So I'm just going to leave the, the wheel pre-sprayed and the rest of the vehicle we're just going to use uh, or clean directly out of the other bucket here. When I pull out my uh, sponge that I'm going to be using, I, I don't want it to be straight out of the bucket dripping wet and I don't want the sponge to be completely wrung out and dry. I want it somewhere in the middle to when I pull it out, it's about halfway wrung out. A little bit of water should be dripping off of the, the, uh, the sponge, but not just straight out of the buck soaking wet. So I'm gonna dunk it down in here good, squeeze it about halfway, and I still got a little water coming off, but I, the idea is to take this water and get it on the vehicle and start spreading the, the product around. And as the product uh, sits on the dirt, it's going to start emul emulsifying the dirt and breaking it down. And then we're going to clean the vehicle with the drying towels that we mentioned earlier. And that's where most of the dirt is going to be trapped, is in the drying towels. Basically in the same manner, the same process, start at the top and work your way back down. And at this point, the majority of the dirt is coming off in my towel. And uh, just keep folding the towel around as you get into different sections, keeping a fairly dry portion of your towel in contact with the body panel. And as you can see, it dries up nicely. And again, by doing this the process using the optimum no rinse, all of the um, lubricants are staying on the paint and there's less likely of it, or less of a chance I'm going to uh, scratch or damage the paint while I'm doing this. And because it is a polymer not a soap, I'm less likely to end up with all the streak marks. So as you can take a look, it's a nice clean uh, section here that we've, we've taken care of. Okay, now that we've done the, the side panels here, I'm gonna go back to the wheel. It's been sitting for about a minute and a half, two minutes while we did the other panels. And I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this down. Even though there's product on here already, I'm gonna go ahead and use this sponge here to uh, give it a little bit of agitation and work the dirt a little bit more, and then we'll dry it off. So I'm gonna hit the, uh, the wheel faces here with the sponge. And because it is a soft sponge, I'm not worried about it uh, really doing any scratching. And it's also going to go in all the nooks and crannies here real well, around the lug nuts, and make it very easy for me to, uh, to clean this wheel. The, the wheels are gonna be a little bit dirtier than the rest of the vehicle just because of all the brake dust and all the other stuff that gets trapped in here. Um, if you're going to do the back in the barrel section, I would recommend just to kind of keep your hands clean by throwing on a pair of latex gloves or something of that nature. All right, now we've wiped everything down. I'm just gonna start on one spoke here and start working my way around the entire rim here. So as I work one section, I'm going to keep moving my fingers around inside the towel every couple of spokes and just uh, find a new drier section of my towel and a clean section of the towel as well. There's a little bit more dirt on the back of the vehicle. That's normal. Uh, as you drive down the road, the back of your car acts like a vacuum. The air kind of sucks around here. So this is typically where you're gonna see more dirt on most vehicles. So what I'm gonna do is uh, do half the, uh, the back end here, and we'll do like a before and after so you can kind of see side by side comparison, what it looks like after it's been O&R versus all the dirt that's on. Uh, again, this is fairly dirty, uh, but again, it's not a problem for the optimum no rinse. I'm not worried about doing any damage or scratching the paint because of the emulsifying agents that are in the, uh, the ONR. And I'm just going to start the top section here, come down about middle way here on the uh, wiper blade, lifting that up to get good coverage underneath of it, clean the wiper, 
Again, starting at the top and kind of working my way down. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my drying towel and start drying this section here. Starting at the top, following the same process. Getting my wiper, get the blade real good. And when you get little grooves like this, it's always a good idea, kind of like the, the uh, lug nuts, take your towel, fold it up, and kind of press it inside of there, and just go across there to drag the dirt out. This is a very, very simple process. It's a great solution if you live in an area that maybe you just don't have access to a, maybe a washing area, if you live in a condo, uh, or even in, in the wintertime when it's cold, you wanna go out and clean your car after you get all the junk on it. You can do this in your garage. You're gonna get a little bit of water on the garage floor, but it doesn't take uh, any more than two gallons of water to wash the entire vehicle. Uh, a vehicle like this, you should be able to wash the entire vehicle, dry it, walk away from it in about 15 minutes. Uh, so the time it would take you to drive to a car wash, you can have this done and get on with your day. Um, it's also a great solution if you're traveling. Take a uh, small little bottle of the uh, eight ounce ONR, uh, take yourself uh, some sort of like a uh, wash mitt, throw it in a bag. You can borrow a bucket when you get someplace and you can dry your car, wash your car and dry it when you get someplace to get all the bugs and all the other stuff off while you're traveling. Um, but this water, uh, the, the surfactant and, and the water softener capabilities of the ONR, if you have hard water at your house, it's a, again, it's a great solution for softening that water a little bit and making it much more a viable option to wash your vehicle without ending up with streak marks, etch marks, and things like that. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call here at Detail Authority at 703-978-7800 or send us the email at info at Thanks for watching and have a great day.